Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Yesterday I went out and I was window browsing at a couple of secondhand shops and I happened to stumble upon a PSP for $100 Australian. And I know people will say, oh, it's the street model. It's no good. You should have went for 3000 Well, this was what was in front of me and I wanted it. <laughs> now, for reference, I've never owned a PSP. I, this is the first one I've ever bought. I have played a PSP before, but it was someone else's. I gave it back. It was never mine. But this one is the street model. So it's version PSP E1002. And it came with like a, um, a compact, whatever this is. What do they used to call this one? It was called the Memory Stick Pro. That's what Sony used to call their cards before SD cards. Um, yeah. So it's in rather good shape. I mean, I checked that it turned on. It's like the buttons all feel nice. Yeah, so I thought today we'd come on here and analyze whether PSP has a place in modern, modern collections, whether it's gaming or physical media with movies. Because believe it or not, the PSP actually had a lot of things. Now these games I already had, the games and movies I already own predating me buying this. So I already had these in my collection and obviously people say, but you didn't even, you never owned a PSP. True. I just collect certain things that I like and I like a bit of every physical media. So I've got some movies and I've also got some uh, games. Uh, Shin Budokai, Dragon Ball Z and the legendary Smackdown vs. Raw 2007, which people say is the best version of GM mode. I don't know why there's a big CEX sticker on it, but let's see if we can get that off because it's kind of ruins the game in a way. Give me two seconds, guys. I'm going to get this sticker off and we'll get it really nice. There we go. It's starting to come off. And yeah, we'll get that big CEX sticker off it. If it's going to come off. Look at that. So if you ever want to know how I get these stickers off, guys, I just go really gentle. There we go. It's just going to come off slowly. You need to put a bit of pressure on this stuff. And then, yeah, it leaves it below that sticky stuff there. Now, what I do to get all that, uh, all the leftover off is I'll go back with the actual sticker and I'll go like this, just start working on it. So I'll go like this. See how that's all coming off? You can, I'm sure you can make this 4K and see what I'm actually doing better. But look at that, not even any sticky uh, sticker stuff left. Now that's a lot cleaner thing. And yes, Smackdown vs. Raw. Okay, now that we've done that, sorry that was a big waste of time, but let's, um, let's turn on the PSP first. Let's see what we can do with the PSP. Let's put these over there and we'll figure out that soon. Let's turn on the PSP. Here we go. I don't even know if it's got sound on. No, there's no sound on. Well, there we go. We're all booted up and ready to go. We do need some sound on this thing though. Where is the sound? And why is it locked? Bear with me a moment, guys. You know I don't edit these videos. Well, I do edit them. I put them through an editor, but... I mean, like, I don't do any hardcore edits like jump cuts and throw a bit of this in there. There we go. That's looking a bit better now. So, yeah. PSP. All right, let's put, let's put a movie in there. We've got three options to choose from. We've got Spider-Man, iRobot. Let's put them in front of me so you can see the options. Let's start with Spider-Man 2, one of the best Spider-Man movie I've movies ever made. Let's put that in first. Okay, the good old spinning disc. This is actually kind of good because you can take optical media with you wherever you go and people might say, but you got digital now, you got you got it all on your phone. So that's reading Spider-Man 2, but you know, I could have it, I do have movies on my phone, it's just a matter of, this is actually kind of fascinating. Listen to that. So let's uh let's play UMD. Here we go. 
this is going to be kind of fascinating. I haven't done this yet. I, I've really only just like turned it on, checked that the battery worked, made sure it charged. I may have put in, I think, iRobot for 10 seconds just to make sure that the disk drive was reading, but it never actually played. So it's kind of fascinating to me to see this, to see what it looks like, how it works. Wow, you've actually got subtitles on here as well. Okay, subtitles. Yeah, you have subtitles. You have audio. You have different audio options, obviously, English and Spanish. And then previews. You have Spider-Man 1 preview. So let's check out the preview. So obviously, it's got the rating system from America on it. Listen to that spinning disc. And it's how loud as it goes. That's not a very loud speaker, but you know, you'd most likely be playing this with headphones on. You know, for the for what it is, this is a pretty good, decent screen. Like, it kind of feels like they put a lot of production value into this. Even the street model, like you can actually tell that. It would be pleasing to watch. I'm going to go to the actual movie. I just want to see a scene from Spider-Man 2 and just see how it actually looks on the PSP. Because I feel like this could be an interesting sort of thing. I'm guessing there will be chapter skips. I'm guessing that's how you... This film has been modified from its original version. It has been fitted to... It's been something to fit the screen. Okay, yeah, so I got rid of the black buzz and made it full screen. That's, that's understandable. Show me some Dr. Octopus. We don't care about... This is actually kind of really good. Wow, okay. With some light there in the park here, you can actually see that the screen reveals a bit of uh, detail. Like, it's really decent, like... Wow. I'm just, like, fascinated by this thing, guys. Like, and, you know, this... I know this isn't going to do as well as the other videos. I know people are just going to be like, why would I watch this guy play with a PSP for 10 minutes? Well, yeah, it's my channel and I'm going to play with the PSP for a bit. And I'm going to talk you through what I'm actually doing, but it actually, it's actually kind of fascinating that you could watch movies on the go back in the day and it's actual physical media. Like, it's kind of fascinating. Everyone's favorite scene on Spider-Man 2. Everyone's favorite. Let's put that sound right there. They need to bring this guy back for the new Spider-Man trilogy. They need to bring Mr. Dikovich back into... Um, into Spider-Man. If they're going to do another uh, Tobey Maguire one, they need to bring Mr. Dickovich in back into it. How do I actually stop the disc, though? Nobody actually told me how to stop the disc. <laughs> okay. Listen to that. It's actual optical media. Like, this is actually fascinating. Okay, I need to I need to like get outside of this now, so let me how do I actually Mr. Aquas here? No bell. Okay, now how do we actually turn that off? I can hear it's still spinning, so I'm gonna wait till it stops spinning before I open it. That sounds like it stopped spinning now. Let's take that out. I don't like to risk damaging the things. Even if it's something like UMD, I'm still not going to risk damaging it. So, yeah. I mean, the best thing about the UMDs is that Sony actually, I believe, figured all this stuff out. Like, that's why they're in a pretty protective layer. You'd have to really press hard to... Although there is a fingerprint on there. I'm going to try to get that fingerprint off very gently with a cloth. You don't want to obviously damage it too much. So, yeah, we'll just rub it off like that. Perfect. Yeah, there we 
go. You have to be very careful with optical media. You don't want it to scratch and, you know, don't put too much pressure. If there's ever a fingerprint on your disc, on your um, DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, just go very gentle and go. don't go in round circles because that will mess the disc up. Just go very gently with a cloth. Just slowly go downwards towards the edge of the disc and it will hopefully come off very easily. In more uh, pressing circumstances, you might have to... Um, Spray some isopropyl on it. Uh, isopropyl, yep. Yeah, I don't know if I can say what it is, but, you know, you can look up isopropyl and, yeah, that'll clean it as well. Um, but be very careful with that because isopropyl can get under the layers sometimes, so be careful. Um, let's test the game because we're also... I also do gaming on this channel. Let's um, let's put Budokai in there. Shin Budokai. It's amazing how beautiful these discs are. Let's put uh, Shin Budokai in there. Dragon Ball Z. So let's put that over here. Let's put a bit of Goku up there. UMD. There we go. It's reading it. Wow. So let's open this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of jarring. I pressed the button and within a half a second it was already booting up. I really like the design of the street. I I've have I have held other PSPs before, but this one is like matte. I've never held one that's like matte finish. And I know people are saying this is like the cheap version, but I don't know. The cheap actually feels more quality than the more expensive versions to me. It feels kind of usable. It feels kind of nice. Look at that intro screen. So, let's start the game. I'm going to play my first... My first PSP game. I mean, I have played a game before on one of my relatives' PSPs, but I've never actually played a match of this. Let's put in my name. We'll just put Jamie in there. There we go, we type my name out. Okay, how do I actually do okay now? Yes, okay, there we go. Keep gain data, yep, we want to do that. New data, yep, saving. Doing its thing, save complete, cool. We're in business, guys. Back, yep. We just want to do arcade. We just want to do an easy fight. Dual time. Let's go 120. Rounds. Let's go one round. We just... There we go. Or two rounds. I think I put two rounds. We don't want to be Goku. We want to be... Where's Vegeta? We want to be the principal Saiyans. Got to be the principal Saiyans. You got to. As I wear my set, cool Seth Rollins shirt. Sephiroth so kind of looks a bit like Vegeta, like if he was a real life version. Oh, it's Vegeta versus Cell. Look at that. Sephiroth, so I think, could play a good convincing Vegeta. Maybe. Wow. Hey, how do I actually fight on this thing now? I'm guessing it's like Tekken. No one messes with the Prince of All Saiyans. Cell is getting beat up. Wow. This is actually kind of fascinating, guys. This is like almost PS... Two graphics. I don't know if they've done something to get the PS2 performance out of this, because this would have existed around the time as PS3. So it's kind of amazing. Okay, I've KO'd Cell. That's a good sign. Look at that. But this is really fascinating. Like, this is, this is amazing.
Okay, I need to beat Cell again. Give me two seconds, guys. I'm just going to beat Cell up, because we don't want Cell to destroy the planet, so I'm going to beat the poop out of Cell. Give me two seconds. Vegeta, no one messes with the Prince of All Saiyans. This is what he should have done in the Cell Saga. He should have really just beat up Cell. Why is he? Oh, he's out of thing. He's out of uh, stamina. Okay. He's out of stamina again. Okay. We will... There we go. We KO'd Cell. You win. Cool. Got an S rank. Perfect. Okay. We've done our one fight. Let's, uh, let's turn this off now. Uh, I don't want to... I don't know what's restarting. Round two. I don't know. We're just going to turn that off now. It's actually kind of fascinating, you know? Wait for that disc to stop spinning. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Good old spinning disc. If I go back across to it... Fascinating. Wait for that to stop spinning again before I take it out. I don't want to damage the disc. There we go, it stopped spinning. So does the original PSP have a place in 2024? That would be an interesting question to end this video on. Well, look. Obviously, there are digital versions of these things that came out way later. I think this would have been towards the end of its life run anyways. The best thing about this is that you have access to optical media. As we put that there. You would have access to optical media. We'll put this on the game setting. There we go. So yeah. There are better options. But if you're a fan of physical media like me. I mean it's got a disk drive in it. A really small disk drive that plays UMDs. And they have a lot of movies for these. Like I've got a movie selection here for um, UMD. Let's put that up. I'll do this. We'll do a fun thumbnail. We'll put and let's put some SmackDown versus Raw. Let's make this thumbnail really interesting. I like doing thumbnails in these videos, guys, because you know, you know, it's a bit of a fun time if I put like, you know, I like to do them in the video so you feel like you've actually been a part of the thumbnail. Like I'm not BSing or whatever. Like you've seen what I've done here. But let's do this. We'll point at this and we'll show like movies. Do like some funny thing. What do you think of this for the thumbnails, guys? I'm so cringe, ain't I? I think we've got it. I'm just going to make you uncomfortable. I'm just going to sit here for a bit longer and point at that. Yes, that's a PSP, Jamie. That is a PSP. Okay, we've held the pose long enough. That was a five-second pose, as Edge and Christian would say. Edge and Christian are in AEW now. Like, it's kind of weird. I don't really watch AEW. They kind of ruined that company for me when um, I won't get into AEW right now because, yeah, I don't want to make the wrestling fans who are a fan of that angry. I don't understand the tribalism with AEW versus WWE. I mean, don't get me wrong. I thought that AEW did some really good stuff, but, I mean, these days it's kind of stale to me. It's like, oh, yeah, don't get me wrong. They have a carter. They have all this other stuff, but it's like, you're telling me they can't do something intriguing with Mercedes Monet? You're telling me they can't do something... Well, they've done something intriguing with Edge, or what he's called now, Adam Copeland. But, yeah, it's like... AEW's a bit weird. But, anyways, enough about AEW. So, what... Does this have a place in 2024? Well, definitely, um... If you're looking at the disc version like this one, I just came past this for $100 and was like, yeah, I have to have it. Well, definitely it still has a place. I think um, it's definitely got some playability. It's got a disc drive. I mean, you can get these things without disc drives and they'll last way longer. A uh, spinning disc obviously drains a lot of battery. There's the compartment. I don't know if you can actually see in there. No, you can't. But... 
I really like this purchase. I think it was the right decision. Yeah, I, I think this was the right choice. I think I made the right choice buying this thing. And I know everyone's not going to agree. They might say, why would you choose this over a DVD or a Blu-ray? Well, look, it's, it's optical media on the go. It's uh, physical media on the go. And people will say DS. DS didn't have movies. This did. And it's optical thing. And you could say portable DVD player. Yeah, portable DVD player. I'll get your point with that one. But this was actually something you can play games on as well. Like you can... This has multi, it's multi-layered than just movies or games. It's like, you can do both. Or I'm sure you can install stuff on it. I'm sure you can. You can jailbreak these things. But I'm not going to jailbreak mine. I like to have it as pure as possible and an experience. And yeah, I think this is, I'm happy with the purchase. And yeah, if you enjoy watching, like, subscribe, drop a comment, notify. I don't know. Click on the ads, maybe. I get a bit of ad revenue now, so I don't know. Click the ads. I might be able to buy some lights eventually. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. I'm not going to make that joke. <laughs> I am going to look at buying lights eventually because these lights on top of me, they're t ceiling lights, and they look kind of not too good in these videos. Well, they, they do add a bit of light to the backdrop, so I will. I do enjoy them, but I am looking at, it, at upping these video qualities. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Peace out. And, yeah, if you want to buy the PSP, doesn't hurt to have one. If you can get it cheap enough. Like, I got this for $100, like I said. It was cheap enough. I'm happy with my purchase. You'd have to obviously... You'd have to obviously make the choice whether you can, you can justify that cost. I know we are in a cost of living crisis, and a rental crisis, and a housing crisis, and any other crisis you can think of, a food crisis, because the duopoly in Australia with the supermarkets. But yeah, if you can justify the cost and it's worth it for you, um, I'm always going to recommend optical media, physical media. So this is why I went with the disc version rather than try to track down a, um, a digital version or like a beta or something. I just wanted the original optical drive and this offers it to me. So yeah, it's not for everyone, but it's for me. And until next time, peace out.